Example two: The diagram shows how the displacement of a moving car varies over time. Find the velocity of the car. As what we learned before, in the displacement time graph, the velocity is equal to the gradient of the graph. To find the gradient of the graph, we need to draw a triangle from the straight line. The gradient of the graph is equal to the height over the width of the triangle. The height of the triangle is 20 meter, whereas the width is 10 second. Therefore, the gradient is 20 meter over 10 second, equal to 2 meter per second. The velocity is equal to the gradient, 2 meter per second. This example shows the velocity of a movement can be determined directly from the gradient of the graph. Converting displacement time graph to velocity time graph. Sometimes in SPM, especially in paper two, we are asked to convert a displacement time graph to velocity time graph. The question normally sounds like this: The graph shows how the displacement of an object varies with time. Convert this graph into a velocity time graph. To convert a displacement time graph into a velocity time graph. We need to determine the velocity of the motion at all time. In the displacement time graph, the velocity is equal to the gradient of the graph. So let's find the gradient of the graph. For the first four seconds, the velocity is equal to 15 over 4, or 3.75 meter per second. From 4 to 8 seconds, the velocity is zero. From 8 to 12 seconds, the velocity is negative 10 over 4, or negative 2.5 meter per second. Draw the axes of the graph. Write down the scale for horizontal axes and vertical axes. And lastly, sketch the line of the graph. This example shows how are we convert a displacement time graph to a velocity time graph. A displacement time graph can be converted to a velocity time graph by finding the velocity from the gradient of the graph.